Hi everyone, today's video is a super exciting video because it is a swap unboxing video. I've got my parcel here and I'm so so excited to do this. My good friend Jahara on YouTube, whose username is JaharaS2, I'll link it below, she was doing a order on Hot Look, I think it's called Hot Look or Hot Look or something, and she was doing an order of the balm products and she asked me if I wanted anything because I think she knew that the balm is quite difficult to come by in the UK and I of course said yes because I really want to try some of their products. So we decided to do a swap and I've sent her some things from the UK, um, things that I don't think you can really get in the USA. So um, if you want to see her unboxing video, I don't think it's up yet, but it might be up around the same time as this. So I'll definitely link it below, but just check out her channel because it's awesome and I think you should all go subscribe to her because she is just lovely and her videos are really great and I've been watching her for years, we've been commenting and watching each other's videos to and fro for years now and we actually did a swap about a year and a half ago I think um, I'll link that video below or both of our videos below if you want to see that but I can't believe it's been that long I'm just so so excited to open this but you should definitely check out her channel because she's just really nice if you like my videos then you'll definitely like hers as well so um, I've got my scissors here ready and let's go. So I, when I sent her my parcel, I'm really paranoid when it gets to um, posting things, especially abroad. So you should have seen how much sellotape I put on it. It was just literally like wound round and round all over the whole box. So I hope she didn't find it too hard to get into that. So I'm just cutting into the edges here. And how cool is the tape that she used to um, stick the parcel down? It's like a paisley print, it's so so cute. How do I open this? Oops. Oh, here we go. Okay, no. I always think I've getting, gotten into the box, but um, I haven't. My hair's getting in my face, it's really annoying. Aha! Ah, it's open! So, this is what it looks like inside. I'm so excited, there's a massive card here with my name on. So, I'm going to open that first. Card. It's so so cute. It says Happy Easter because you're special. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh wow, it's long. Let's have a read. Oh, it says what she's got. I'm not going to read that bit yet because I'm going to read it as I open things. I think that might be a good option. Okay. Anyway, then. so yeah the card's got the list of things that she bought which I'm kind of going to read as I open things I think which kind of makes sense but thank you that's really sweet of what you've written in here and I'm not going to read it out because it's personal anyway so let's get cracking let me show you everything that's inside let's put this card here dun 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 so excited okay my hair is going to annoy me so if it looks really rubbish in this video because I've tucked it behind my ear and stuff I don't care because it's going to annoy me. So, first off, we've got a bar of Hershey's chocolates. I've not actually tried Hershey's before. Well, I don't think I have. I might have done like years ago, but and this is Hershey's milk chocolate with almonds, and I'm going to try some of that later, but I'm so excited because I am a chocoholic sweet tooth person, and I don't know how, what order to open things in. Okay, so first off is this. How cute is the paper? It's like, um, polka dots, kind of eastery tissue paper. So, whoops. I feel bad kind of ripping into paper. I always want to try and open it as nicely as I can, but um, yeah, anyway. Okay. Okay, here we go. What is this? This is the Schwing Black Liquid Line Eyeliner. How cute is that packaging? Balm's packaging is just so cute. It's like vintagey kind of, is it pin-up style cartoons? I'm not really sure, but let's have a look. This is an eyeliner. Ooh, how cool is that packaging? It's got like, the picture on here as well. I really like that because I really hate when the box is nice, but the packaging's boring. So what's she written about this? This is the Schwing eyeliner. One of my favorites of all time. It's rich, matte. Pigmented and easy to use. Ooh, so that's the brush. Ooh, I like that. You can do really thin lines as well. That is perfect. Oh, I use liquid liner every day, so I know I'm going to love this. And I just love the packaging, and it's just so, so black. Look at that. 
you can do really thick lines and really thin lines and that is perfect because sometimes I'm a little cat candid with my eyeliner even though I use eyeliner every day I'm still not very good at it so hopefully that will make me better next oops it's stuck is this pink one okay lots of tissue paper here <gasps> yes the new chewed yeah new chewed palette I'm so excited I think I asked for this but this palette is just absolutely gorgeous. The packaging looks like this. And it's got the shades on the back here. So let's have a look. So it's kind of got like a bedroom um, picture on it. That's kind of cool. Wow, look at that. Look at that. How gorgeous is that palette? I love the packaging of this. It's got like these girls and they've got like their bits covered with the eyeshadows. And the colours, oh, they're so gorgeous. I want to swatch them, but I'm scared of messing it up. So what should I swatch? Stubborn. Ooh. They're so pigmented and soft and buttery and really lovely. So I'm excited to use that. I just, oh, I love this. I think I'm going to start using that tomorrow. I kind of wish I hadn't done my makeup now so I could use this as I went along. But what she was about the Nude-Tude, Nude-Tude Balm eyeshadow palette. And she's written, you wanted this and the pigmentation of the balm shadows are amazing. So... Oh, so excited, thank you. Okay, so the next one is this blue one. Oops. Okay, this is called Hot Mama, and what is this? A shadow slash blush. Hmm. Okay, right, so what's she written about this? Hot Mama, Hot Mama. Beautiful, shimmery, peachy pink colour that everyone loves. Okay, it's so gorgeous. Look at that, it kind of looks a bit like NARS Orgasm but less pink I think, more of a peachy colour but I've just gone straight in and swatched that, it's there. Oh, it's so nice. I don't know if you can really see that, it's like a rose gold kind of beautiful colour. I think that's going to be like the perfect kind of summery blush colour and oh, it's gorgeous, I love that. And I like how it's got like a little mirror as well, the packaging of these are really cool, it's like paper. I don't think I own anything that's like that, so, except for one benefit thing, but apart from that, nothing's paper. It's all like plasticky, isn't it? So I like that. Next one is in the cute polka dot paper again. Ooh, what's this? That's Heart BH Cosmetics Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. Ooh, That's Heart famed beauty guru handpicked these sweet and romantic shades to create this limited edition. I should own blush palette. Ooh, I think you, she did a review of this. Jahara, did you do a review of this? I'm going to have to check this out. But, um, <coughs> ooh, sorry for the coffin. But yeah, this is exciting. I'm going to rip straight into this with the sellotape. Nope, not the tape, the scissors. The packaging of this is so, so cute. Look at that. It's like a little lace outlined heart. Right, this is the palette. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> wow. Look at that, it's got some really gorgeous mixture of colours there. I like how it's got some kind of nudie colours there. And I don't know if the plastic is, there we go. I like how it's got some nudie colours over this side and then like some slightly brighter colours here. I'm often too scared to use bright colours like these blues, but I think this would be quite nice as like an eyeliner in the summer or something. And the blush is really pretty as well. It's a really nice hot pink colour, I don't know if you can really see that. And this is like the kind of palette that has everything. You've got your eyeshadows, you've got a blush, a highlighter and a contour or bronzer shade as well so I'm excited to try that thank you for that Jahara I, to be honest I don't think I've ever heard of this until you did a review of it so I'm really excited to try this okay and what does she write about here let me see um, I don't think there is nothing on here about that but there might be the, this might be the surprise is it the surprise I don't know but thank you I'm really excited to try that <laughs> Okay, so next is another one in this blue packaging. This is nice. This is a nail polish. I think this is by the Balm as well because it's got the... Oh, it, yeah, it's by the Balm. And this is called Sky Blue Right Past You. And it's a really beautiful, bright blue, kind of sky blue colour. It's just lovely. This is going to be perfect for spring and summer. I love these kind of pastel blue shades. So I am just so excited to try this. I've never tried any of the Balm products, let alone their nail varnish. And I've never really heard people talking about these, but this just looks like the most gorgeous colour. And I'm super excited to try that. Thank you for that. I just love the colour. It kind of looks like the um, tissue paper, which is kind of cool. 
very matchy matchy. So the next one is another pink packaging. And I'm sorry if I'm starting to sound a little bit bunged up. I've got a bit of a cold and um, I feel like I need to sneeze in a minute. <gasps> This is the Mary Luminizer, which is basically a highlighter. I think you can use it as an eyeshadow as well. But I asked for this, and I'm just so, so excited to try this because everybody raves about it. What's she, what she written here about it? She's put, oh, gorgeous, you will never run out of this product. So this is what it looks like. How cool is the packaging? I just love that. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. It's a beautiful kind of champagne golden highlight and I do have highlighters but I find some of them are too frosty, some of them have too much colour, like too much peachy or pinkiness so I'm thinking this would be my like new perfect highlighter and I don't think I have a clean finger to swatch now but oh, just so soft and velvety and oh, beautiful I don't know if you can see that, I've blended it in really well but I don't know if you can see the sheen that's just given my skin down here oh, I love this, I'm so excited to try this, I'm actually going to I'm going to put some on now actually. Here we go. Oh, my glasses are in the way. Here we go. That's a good start, isn't it? I don't know if you can really see it on my cheeks. I think you can more on the camera than in real life. But I'm just so excited about this. I think it looks really nice and I love it. So thank you so much for that. Ah, so excited. I don't want to throw any of these boxes away because they're so cute. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I hoard boxes. I've got like a drawer by my desk which has got just full of boxes. And I keep saying I'm going to just take pictures of them and when I do my reviews on my blog and then bin them, but I haven't vlogged in ages, which is really bad, I know, but um, I haven't vlogged in ages and the boxes are still sat there. So, yeah, anyway, moving on to the next one. So excited. Okay, so this is the In Stain Long Wearing Stain In Powder Blush. How cute is that packaging? It's like a little magazine. I love that. The quickest way to make you blush, and I think this is called Spring for this blush. Is that the name? I think it's called that. But oh, it's like a beautiful baby pink colour. I love that. That is just absolutely gorgeous. It says, Wear it well. Vous, vous va bien. It says up there on the mirror. And, oh, I've got no clean fingers, but I'm just going to swatch over one that I've used already. How nice is that? This is just like a matte pink, which is really nice, because I don't have many matte blushes, and it's so pigmented. That's a really nice colour. Look at that. It's there. I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm sitting by a window, so it kind of washes everything out, but that is gorgeous and so pigmented. And I just love the packaging. How cute is that packaging? My hair... I'm sorry about this, guys. <laughs> I'm really sorry about my hair in this video. <laughs> Can't do anything about that, unfortunately. What's she written about? Oh, it's called Argyle. Is that what I call it? I thought it was called Spring for this blush. It's actually called Argyle, which makes sense because there is a little Argyle print down here. I'm so excited to wear this. I think I'll be wearing this tomorrow. Basically, all of this makeup, I will be wearing it tomorrow. I really wish I hadn't done my makeup already because I just want to throw it all on my face now, even though it might look a bit funny. <laughs> the last thing in here, which I'm so excited about. So, the last thing is called a Stainiac Hint of Tint for Cheeks and Lips. Let's have a look. If it wants to come out. Let's try opening at the other end. There we go. It's coming out. Ooh! Look at that. That looks a li little bit like kind of um, Benefits Benetint or I've got a Body Shop Lip and Cheek Tint which is similar to this which I use loads. I just keep it in my bag and it's really great for topping up if you suddenly go out that evening or you can add some rosiness to the cheeks or just some pinkness or redness to the lips. So how do I open this thing? Eee, so excited to try this. Right, so. Ooh, it's like a gloss with a little doe foot applicator. And... That's really nice. It's like a rosy pink colour. I don't know if you can see that there. It's like glossy if I blend it out a little. Oh, it's literally been on my hand for like less than a minute and it's already made like a little stain. So that's nice. That's one of those like long wearing products which I think will be great for work days because I don't really have time to top up my makeup so this would be one of those things that just lasts and lasts. I think this will be really good on the lips as well actually because I think I've said this a million times but when I wear lipsticks, it gets on my braces, but if this stains my lips, then it will kind of go into the lips, won't it? So it might not get onto the braces. 
we will have to see about this. I'm so excited. So that was everything in the box. I don't think I said thank you enough in this video, but I'm just so, so excited about everything. Thank you so much, Jahara. Um, I'm just so happy with everything, and I'm really grateful that you did this swap with me. I really appreciate this and everything you've got, and I really hope you liked everything that I got you. Um, thank you so much. So to everyone else that was watching this, I'm sorry if this was boring for you. I just kind of went off into my own little world and just opened this up as if I was just doing it at home, not in front of the camera. So I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you check out Jahara's channel. If you want to see what I got her then I will link that video below. Thank you for watching everybody and if any of you are ever thinking of doing a swap with somebody then I definitely recommend it because it's just so so exciting. It's like Christmas when you receive your parcel and you open everything. So thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!